welcome back to my channel, Cat Wonders here. I am actually in my living room slash dining room filming this today because it's so beautiful out and I just figured that I would film somewhere a little bit different than my normal studio or loft. <sighs> you guys, today not only is it beautiful, this hall is so beautiful and look at my pinky nail, it's missing. I actually purposely cut it off because I kind of ripped my pinky nail halfway off and I figured rather than risk ripping the rest of it off, I'll just cut it short. And I'm getting my nails done in two days anyway. Woo! Anyway, okay, so this haul is one of my favorites of all time. This is by a company called, this is a haul about, <laughs> not for a company because I'm not getting paid to do this. Um, this is a Sabo or Sabo skirt haul. The website is S-A-B-O skirt.com. Sabo, Sabo, what's the right way? I don't actually know. Okay, so I'm wearing one of the dresses. Now this is gonna be like a traditional Cat Wonders haul. I'm gonna be trying them on. You can see and decide for yourself what you think. I ordered everything in a size medium. I did not take any measurements beforehand. I just risked medium. And I feel like my camera is tilted a bit this way, but you're just gonna have to deal with it because I'm not changing it. Also, I'm enjoying a diet pineapple drink. So I might have some little burps throughout this video. <laughs> so how did I hear about Sable Skirt? I saw an ad on Instagram, followed the link, and then I fell in love with everything that they were advertising. So I just went crazy. So I ordered five or six things and a pair of shoes. Now, it's not very often that I will blindly order things that are kind of in this price range, but I did and it worked out. And I'm gonna actually this time in this video differently, I'm gonna tell you what I paid for each piece and it will be in US prices. Now, the first piece is what I was most excited for because this color is very hard to find and this color in a beautiful fitted knit is also very hard to find. You, if you go to the website, you'll see that the majority of their knitwear is sold out. And there were so many pieces that I wanted so bad, but I couldn't get because they're sold out. But I'm on the wait list, email list, whatever, to be notified when they are available because I'm gonna be living in this stuff this summer and I've got so many trips this summer <laughs> that, um, especially to extremely warm locations in July, um, so I'm gonna be, like I said, living in these kind of linen cotton pieces. This one might be my favorite of all time. This dress here. Now, this is the most beautiful periwinkle sky blue ever. It's a long sleeve mini dress knit. Excuse me, there's my little first little burp. <laughs> um, it has this wire structure in it that it creates the support for your titties. So no bra required. I did actually film my podcast, I think episode 95, in this dress with the bra and my titties look like they're just triple the size. So <laughs> it's a little much. But this is a mini skirt. It fits like a dream. I would probably wear some shapewear underneath just because if I'm a little more bloated, I have a little bit more of a belly bump and I don't necessarily <laughs> to be sucking my stomach in so hard that I'm uncomfortable. So absolutely shape right underneath this, underneath this but uh, not necessary. I mean, who doesn't find a little pooch sexy? Is that what it's called? Paunch? Pooch? <laughs> pooch is dog, but anyway, I love this so much. This color, I just feel like a million bucks in this and I love the deep scoop, like very deep scoop, deep scoop in the back. And you could see for yourself, it is just a piece that I am excited to wear out.
This was on sale on the website, and I'll be completely honest with you, this pattern throws me back to literally the 90s. I feel like my mom had a few sweaters in this kind of birthday cake <laughs> type speckle knit. Very high quality, feels really good. The fit just doesn't work on me. Um, if I had smaller boobies, then I might be able to rock this, but it just kind of like the way the neckline lands and the boobs go, it doesn't quite work on me. You'll see what I mean. I also forgot to mention the price of the first one. The blue mini dress was $80 US. And this dress here is, was $33 on sale from, I don't know what the original price was, but that's what I paid for this. Now I can make this work. I think if I just had a cute jacket over top, I would definitely need to wear shapewear of this one too because there's no supporter structure. It's just kind of, everything's just hanging out. So, but I love the color. I really like it. It's just the, the neckline doesn't quite work. The next piece. Okay, so what I love about these dresses, I mean, one of the things I love is that you get a piece with a top like this, okay? So there's ruching happening, there's a V happening, there's lots of different structure, but you can wear this top however you want. There's no actual right or wrong way. I did like a halter style. You can crisscross the front, you can wear it regular, you can just wear it strapless, whatever you want, you can actually tie this like this and it creates like a cute top, which I probably should have done because it's this cord actually, to be honest, because it's linen is a little bit scratchy on the neck and it was a little bit uncomfortable. I'm not gonna lie. So I probably wouldn't wear it like that for long, maybe for a photo if for like 45 seconds, but next time I'm gonna try it and tie it up top. So it's more of like a little cute French little bow in the front. <laughs> anyway, is that French? This fits me like a glove. And I love when brands are consistent with every piece with their sizing. Cause I can't stand when I love something in my size. So I, I buy something from a website that's a size medium. And then I buy different colors in the same dress and it, they're completely different sizes. So medium is medium across the board. I feel the smalls, the larges, everything will be the same across the board. This dress is so cute. And it's got not only the buttons down the front, but buttons down the side. It just adds interest. It just adds something. And these are real buttons, by the way. Every single one of these are real. So if I wanted to add a slit on either side, a slit up the front, slit down the front, down here. Wait a minute. <gasps> Look at that. There is a button loop with no button. Is that an accident or a purpose? Anyway, this is a creamy linen, light, lovely. Anyway, oh. I love it and I can't wait to wear it. I'm just really happy about it. On to the next. The next one, I think it was this one. I kind of have them in a pile there, but it, as far as my memory serves, yes, 
this beautiful dress. I was a little hesitant to buy this dress just because, oh, the last piece, I'm so bad at this. The last piece, the white dress was $86, totally worth it. This guy, now I was hesitant to wear this, and in fact, even this one that I'm wearing right now, the frills sometimes on certain dresses are either oversized or they're a little bit too dramatic, and when I wear a piece like that, I just feel like I'm trying to be too fancy or something, like, oh yes, my puff sleeve that goes out to here, like, I'm a fashionista, I can pull this off, and then when I wear it, I'm like, I feel like, like a party balloon. <laughs> In the worst way. Anyway, this one, Obviously it was not as puffy and sleeve wise, but the way that the model wears it, it looked so perfect. And I was like, there's no way that it would look so like as perfect on me. It freaking works so good. And the cleavage I get from this, the band is quite tight, but perfectly tight. And I'm a C cup. So if you're a B or an A, this is gonna be, this is gonna fit all of us. Except for us bigger titty girls. <laughs> I don't know if I land in that category exactly, but I just have a little bit more cleavage. Now, I, if I throw these in the dryer, it will kind of get rid of all of this kind of wrinkling from shipping. I did not steam these. these I'm just putting these on the way that they came. So sometimes if it's bad enough, I'll throw them in my de-wrinkle setting in my dryer, which is a lifesaver. But because it is linen too, I was like, Ey! I don't necessarily want to throw these in the dryer. I'll probably steam them just to be safe because I love them so much. And this I really, really like. Again, this is not sponsored. Did I say that? I bought these. They have no idea that I'm doing this. I may reach out to them afterward and be like, so do you want a partner? <laughs> You're looking for a partnership because uh, sign me up. Anyway, this I love so much. And the way that it sits like on the lower back, everything is just so romantic and sexy and fits so good. And I just am blown away and I love it. And let's move on to the next piece. Oh, and, and the piece I just showed you was $78. Okay, this next piece is this sage beauty. It's kind of between sea foam and sage. It's not mint, it's definitely more of a cooler toned green, but with a bit of a fake tan. So right now I have no fake tan whatsoever. I am like almost transparently white, but I'm working on it, okay? I'm gardening, I'm raking outside, Shoulders exposed, I'm trying to build up something. Anyway, this is so good, it fits me. It couldn't fit any better. Again, the top gives you options. You can tie it however you want to, besides these shoulder straps, which you need, okay, to keep your dress sort of in place. But I swear, you could really just, there's probably 50 different ways you can tie this dress. And the fabric is so beautiful and comfortable and breezy. I want it in more color. I love it, and I paid, what did I pay for this? I paid $74, and well worth it. but not least, 
this beauty that I'm wearing right now. Um, you'll see the footage so I won't bother standing up. And I paid how much for this? $108 for this dress. And I am not sad about it. It is so good. You can see for yourself in the footage, the fit. I, I can't say any more wonderful, beautiful things. I'm so excited. Having this kind of new little setup is making me even more excited for summertime travel. They're light pieces, but you have good coverage. You're not gonna sweat to death in them because they're all cotton, 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 whatever. It just, I'm really excited. And when I bought these dresses, I needed a neutral shoe, a shoe that will go with every single dress that's not gonna to be too high heeled, but very comfortable. There are reviews on the website, so you can kind of see what people say about. Anyway, so I bought these. So they don't look like anything too special, but they are actually so comfortable. And I think I wore these with the try on with the first dress or second dress, anyway. Neutral, a bit of a heel, fancy, will go with anything. I guess that's essentially what neutral means. But these are so, so comfortable. And I've yet to wear them for like an actual day out. But for the price, so good. What did I pay for these? $72. Well spent. I have some more dresses coming from House of CB, which were way too expensive, but I'm excited because I have shoes, at least that will go with every dress. And if I'm traveling, so which I've been doing way too much of lately, I need a neutral shoe. I can't bring my entire collection with me. These will be a staple because if I'm doing a shoot or if I'm whatever, these are gonna, they're gonna be in my bag. They're light, they are comfortable and neutral. And this is what you need to. <laughs> Am I selling you on them? They're uh, great. I don't have a coupon code for you. I don't have nothing. You're just gonna have to pay full price on the website unless you can find a coupon code, because I couldn't. my Sabo skirt haul. I am so excited. I cannot wait to order more pieces. I am on their mailing list for when they restock and come out with some newer pieces. Um, I do want to try some of their loungewear, which is super cute. I just can't justify sometimes buying like a two piece loungewear set that's uber expensive, which is not uber expensive, but I just won't wear it out. It's like with, it's will be me wearing it around my house. <laughs> not out. I know loungewear is becoming more and more kind of popular to wear as everyday clothing, but not for me. Uh, not yet anyway, but the color schemes, everything about this company, really great. I think I would be comfortable ordering a medium in every single one of their pieces and it would look great on me, so. Super excited that I found this company and Sabo Skirt, if you're seeing this, please sponsor me. I would love to order another 55 pieces and I will make another 10 videos for you. <laughs> oh, math. <laughs> um, no, I'm, I'm really happy with all my pieces. Money well spent, shipping was quick and that's all I have to say. If you enjoyed this try on and if you liked me filming in my living space, besides my studio space, let me know. If you didn't, also let me know. And subscribe if you have not already because I've got a ton more stuff like this to try on as well as swimsuits, of course. And yeah, like this video if you enjoyed it. And I will see you next time I film, which will be, I don't know when, but it's gonna be fun, it's gonna be great, and the sun's gonna be out, and it's going to be amazing. I hope you're having an amazing day, an amazing week, and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye!